I've told you before about Brian Topp. He's the NDP activist from Toronto who commutes to Edmonton each week to be the chief of staff for Alberta's new Democrat premier, Rachel Notley. He's so far left that he's even too left wing for the federal NDP. He ran against Thomas Mulcair for the leadership and he lost because he was too radical for them. That's the guy running Alberta's government for the premier and he brought in 10 other out of province radicals to be chiefs of staff for other cabinet ministers too. The only question is, is he the second most powerful person in Alberta's government or the most powerful person? So it makes sense to study his views because what Brian Topp has said before is now becoming law in Alberta. I mean, take the NDP's war against the oil sands. You can see it here in a speech Topp made at the NDP leadership contest. Take a look. We want a, we want a clear approach on climate change, and I, I quite like what they're doing in Europe, and it's worth studying, studying it carefully as we think about Canadian policy. A hard cap on emissions to price carbon, a home and industrial retrofit program, getting out of coal, getting an urban mass transit program, and getting fossil-fueled cars out of our cities. The comprehensive approach like that, we can tackle climate change and it's got to be at the heart of our next government. That anti-oil stuff is on the way to becoming Alberta law. Well, what about other issues? Well, here's what Brian Topp told a pro-marijuana magazine called Cannabis Culture a couple of years ago. Let me quote, Brian Topp supports the decriminalization of both medicinal and social marijuana use. Brian Topp, uh, Brian strongly supports harm reduction programs like Insight and would work with communities that want to introduce this and other forms of harm reduction. And finally, Brian supports NDP policy and would act to decriminalize cannabis. Support for harm reduction would be a high priority. So this whole drug thing is a high priority for him. Now, decriminalizing marijuana is a federal matter. Our parliament is where we write the criminal code, but it's provincial prosecutors who choose whether or not to pursue charges. Will Brian Topp tell Rachel Notley to simply stop enforcing Ottawa's drug laws? How long until Alberta sets up hardcore drug corrals where junkies can come and shoot up drugs with no risk of arrest or prosecution like they do in Vancouver's worst slums? Do you think I'm being too skeptical, too pessimistic? Hey, he hasn't even been chief of staff for two months. But I predict Brian Topp will import his Vancouver pro-drug policies to Alberta in 2016. What do you think? For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.